Uh, I'm gonna add this video on, that I'm doing today from yesterday also because I got so busy I couldn't I couldn't uh, keep up with it but this is some of the stuff that um, comes after they combine it separates the little shells from the regular corn and we're we're gonna take it here and we're gonna use it for our chicken scratch and um, and then we'll take this wagon back over to Tucker's and uh, it's a lot of a lot of corn comes Jack now we're just using the bucket tractor and putting it in bins and then we're gonna put it in that barn right there and Bella Flora Good morning. Um, starting off the day, um, heading over to Mark's farm. We're gonna haul corn again today. Beautiful views, Skinny Atlas Lake over there. So. Supposed to rain this evening, so um, gotta see what we can get done today before the rain comes. With all this corn and a lot of corn out here. <clears throat> this isn't one of the tractors I'm using to haul, but it's the same thing. Power uh, shuttle. It's a. Uh, well, like one of their smaller tractors. Uh, for me, this would be a great tractor. It's 125 horse. It's, um, I don't know, I, this would be, everybody's got huge horsepower tractors, but this one would be great. That six one twenty five, that one twenty five, and this one is the horsepower. It's pretty cool. Well, it'd be a great tractor to have. I'm over here. You know, it's this one's just running the auger and the separator that's one of the tractors I've been using right there so I think they're like near 200 horse that one over there but they're nice oh there's Jackson hello Jackson well anyway going by the farm here you can see my farm still hauling corn and uh, we're almost done with that farm it's I don't know it's 230 acres and not all of it was in corn but we did probably 150 acres there something like that pretty close but we're still hauling just uh, giving you an update. Busy day, busy day. Even though it's been raining. We uh, 
Got that gravy, gravity wagon unloaded. And I put a lot into the bins. And it was so much, I just um, put it in here. You can see that bin is full. There's another one in the cow barn, it's full. The goat barn is full. So, I got a lot of chicken scratch. Put it that way, right? <clears throat> but we, <coughs> we got that done and um, it's already <coughs> going on four in the afternoon. And, uh, excuse me. <laughs> um, and I was gone for a couple days, you know, uh, doing running corn. And uh, so, there's a lot to do in the, <laughs> you know, there was, Jack and uh, Courtney were doing chores, but, you know, I, I like to do things certain ways, and they did a good job. But, you know, no manure got done and that kind of thing, so all that's got to get done. Probably not today, because I still got to finish up doing a lot of things around the barn, so. Been busy. Look who's waiting to come in. Look who's waiting to come in. She wants more grain. What the heck did you do? Break my gate? I've been pushing on it. That's what they've been doing. But I got to get her in. She's leaking milk. Getting cold up around here. It's, it's probably 40, maybe in the 30s tonight. So, winter's coming. Winter's coming. I see uh, a lot of videos of people in different areas of the country it's it's um i uh i, I like watching them because down there's a farm down in uh the carolinas that you know they're still doing some hay so different up here everything is dying off and uh you know, everybody, the farms up here, the last thing they're doing is getting their corn in. Then hunkering down for winter. So, and, uh, I have this tractor here again, the Massey. Um, now, I've said in the past videos that they're going to come up, but they haven't been able to make it up. Um, one of the mechanics had a heart attack, so... Um, they're gonna come up Monday now, one of the guys, and look at this. Uh, that's that with the axle, that front axle I was telling you about. It's been seeping a little bit, so um, I just wanna get it looked at. And the engine loss of power, a couple times it's done it. So I want them to plug into the tractor and then and see, uh, you know, maybe if there's something that I could do or needs to be done. Um, you know, this one has analytics in it, so it uh, you can plug right into it and it'll it'll tell him what happened, you know, during its first year of performance. And like I said, I've almost have 600 hours on this tractor, so... Um, I, I like it though.
I did, uh, I did happen to see a tractor I liked from Massey Ferguson. It's a 2860. It has a cab on it. I don't know what the cost is. Uh, I, I'm sure I'm not going to be able to buy that one right now. But if I was to be able to buy another one um, brand new, I'd probably look at something like that. Or uh, 1860, one of those two. A 2860. It seems like every year they change that first number. The 60 is always the horsepower. And this one was a 17. Then they went to 18. Now they're at 20. So it's a 2860, which is a 60 horsepower, 60 and a half horsepower, they're saying. And I, I, I wouldn't need any more than that around here. I don't care if I had 100 acres. Uh... I grew up on a farm, a dairy farm. We had, I don't know, somewhere around 270, maybe around 270, 300 acres. Yeah, about something like that. And um, it was a dairy we grew up on. And uh, we had two tractors. It was a 3020, and the 3020 was rated at 72. Between 72 and 74, something like that horsepower. And we all had a, they were John Deere's. And one, the other one we had was a 2520. And that was rated at 55 horse. And uh, all the time I grew up on that farm, that's the only two tractors they had. And um, they did the whole farm. I mean, I, anymore, you know, the farms are bigger and they got to have these big horses. But uh, like I said, if you were, you know, this land here, if I had a 60 horse tractor and this 40 horse and my 706, I, I don't need anything. <laughs> I really don't need any more. You can do everything with them. So anyway, I'm going to call this a day. It's been a long day already. So um, you all have a good evening. Okay. I'll catch up with you.